presented by Bet Rivers, and to do so, I have plucked Blake Murphy out of Excel spreadsheet hell. Heaven? Is he got, heaven to him, hell to me. Either way, these are two teams on the opposite ends of the spectrum when it comes to over and underperforming. That has also led to two teams on the opposite end of the spectrum in terms of the energy around these teams. The Utah Jazz start the season hotter than anyone could have expected. They're playing with house money now. This is a team that looks as loose as you'd expect in that scenario, whereas every Raptors game feels like a new referendum on the future of this team and what's going to happen ahead of the trade deadline. The Raptors come into this one feeling all the pressure in the world, the Jazz feeling none. I think that'll play out. Not pressure for Pascal Siakam. He's been the straw that stirs the offensive drink all season. But there has been a bit of a decline. And obviously, fatigue feels like it's a bit of a factor. How could it not be? Yeah. With, with the minutes load, with the offensive usage profile he has, with how much ground the Raptors' defense requires guys to cover game to game, uh, of course he's tired. Now, I think the scoring is going to come back up, no problem. The Jazz are a good get-right game for him because while they do protect the rim well, their bottom five in terms of allowing volume in that short mid-range area, that 4 to 14 foot area where Pascal Siakam has his floater package, he has his push shot package, he has his spin move package. Pascal Siakam takes more field goal attempts from that area than almost any other forward in basketball. So a good matchup for him. One thing he has to do differently, though, Danielle, that Suns game, three rebounds, one assist. You have to go back to the bubble for the last time he contributed that little statistically in outside of the points call he's been that solid now someone who doesn't struggle with energy would be walker kessler bright-eyed bushy-tailed in his rookie season and making jazz fans forget about that other big man that used to roam down low more fun guy than rudy gobert that's <laughs> for sure he's not touching microphones or anything i do take issue with him being in the rising stars game though because walker kessler's whole thing is he prevents cool plays oh, from happening come on. he doesn't help them happen uh, but this is a kid coming into his own already averaging a double double and nearly three blocks per game over his last 10 and whatever metric you look at opponent field goal percentage on off numbers catch all metrics they all agree that walker kessler is one of the very best players in the league already at keeping you away from the rim and if you get there keeping you to a low field goal percentage back to big picture blake raptors sit in 12th in the east they're a game out of that 10th and final play in spot have they run out of time to convince messiah and bobby not to do anything i'm not sure what else they could show over these last four games how your opinion of this team would change we know things could have gone better we know they're better than the record but they haven't gone that way and it's hard to see it turning around this year with how far away from the play-in they already are and how far away from avoiding the play-in they already are. One maybe nice thing to look forward to if things go this direction, Scotty Barnes and Scoot Henderson got to play together on the Rising <laughs> Stars team last year because of the G League Ignite presence. Maybe we get a second look yeah, this okay. Rising Stars game at what that future could look like. We also know how Masai feels about playing. Playing for what? This is a team with championship aspirations. Thank you, Blake. All right, on the other side, we'll take a look at a little Utah CanCon, a pair of Canadians in their lineup. Kelly Olenek, who just came back on Saturday after missing a couple of games to injury, and Nikhil Alexander-Walker. What will be their place on the national team? Brad and Sherm, explore.